Why do you think Liz Truss, uh, who you have worked with in the past and I know you admire, why did she pick now to make this intervention? Well, I think she's been away for, you know, three or four months following her premiership and she's had a long and hard think about what went right, what went wrong, what she could have done differently. And she's found some things that really need a public airing. And uh, you mentioned many of those in your conversation with Olivia just then. It is quite astounding that a, a British prime minister, a former prime minister, is saying that essentially her policies were being thwarted by an unresponsive um, set of unaccountable government organisations. Now, whether you agree with Miss Truss or not, that is quite astounding. And also, she did also make the point, which is, I think, probably getting less attention, that uh, any policies really that uh, showed any form of divergence from the European Union were also thwarted. So there's a sort of double whammy involved in this. And I think that it, these are subjects that need airing. And I think she's doing the UK a service in doing that. It is fascinating how the OBR is a body that was only set up in 2010. This is not a million years ago. This has not been there since time immemorial in British politics. And now it seems to hold governments to ransom. Should the OBR be reformed? Well, I think the OBR has a fairly limited function, but because of the vacuum that's been created by the lack of debate about lower taxes and their influence and supply side reforms and the, the sorts of things that Liz Truss has been talking about, um, there are many who haven't been talking about that and the debate hasn't been strong enough from the conservative side of things. I think the OBR has filled a vacuum and uh, I don't think it's, there's any blame on the OBR for doing that. That's just happened. I think where you could say the OBR has been wrong is in their static economic models, their, their failure to put enough emphasis on the other side of the argument uh, and those sorts of things. But I, I don't blame the OBR for doing that. I think it's just happened as a as sort of a natural occurrence of a lack of debate. Now, you were PPS uh, in your time in Parliament, PPS to Jeremy Hunt uh, back when he was, uh, what Secretary of State was it? Health Secretary um, back then, or DCMS, um, I, I believe. Both. Uh, both. So you know Jeremy Hunt very well. Jeremy Hunt, uh, only sort of a few years ago, was talking about the need to cut taxes on businesses to create growth. He then, as Chancellor, raised taxes on businesses. Do you think he has changed his mind or, or, or what's gone on there? That's a good question. I think that uh, he has made an evaluation of current economic situation and has come to a different conclusion than uh, people like me would have come to. I would be cutting taxes, uh, not increasing them. But I think that he felt... Uh, along with Rishi Sunak, that inflation was the number one priority and cutting inflation needed to be done first. I do think Jeremy is still very much uh, a tax cutter. He clearly wants to massively reduce uh, levels of corporation tax in this country. But uh, uh, unfortunately, he feels he's had to, to raise it to cut inflation as part of a package of other things first. Um, I'm not sure that's the right decision. And I've, I mean, I've told him as much, but, uh, you, you know, that's the decision they've made. I wonder if in the uh, in the upcoming budget, just in a, in a couple of months time, there will actually potentially be a, a surprise tax cut or or an elongating of a particular tax cut that Rishi Sunak was very, very proud of. The so-called super deduction, uh, which is meant to sort of offset the rise in corporation tax, because if companies invest, then they can claim some of that tax back. I wonder if there is a, a likelihood, perhaps that the super deduction, which is meant to end in March or in April, might that be carried forward? Well, I, the one thing I would say for sure is that Jeremy Hunt wants to reduce taxes on uh, businesses because he sees businesses as the driver of the economy and the thing that creates the wealth and allows us to Im improve public services and so forth. So I could see a very pro-business budget coming forth 
uh, in a month's time, I think it is now. I think it's in March. 